Hello. Life path number one. How are you guys doing? How is everything going? I hope everybody's keeping safe. This is Healing Hands. I'm sure everybody's coping with Corona virus one way or another. Um, it's not like we really have a choice at this time, but you know, we have to make the best of whatever the situation is. And I know there's a lot of chatter about, you know, government wanting everybody to open up businesses and go back, at, you know, to business as usual and trying to figure out what that whole dynamic will look like. Um, whatever the case may be, life path number one. Um, I hope you guys will continue to stay safe out there. Um, continue to maintain reasonable social distancing and continue to wear your mask and please continue to protect your family, okay? Because I know we're in a capitalist society where people just think about money. I know businesses have been closed for like a month and people are like crying, money, money, money. But we keep forgetting that there is something worth more than money, all right? Human lives cannot be replaced. Um, over 40,000 people dead, you know, dead from the disease, In I think, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I got my numbers right. Is it 40,000 people that ca caught the disease or, you know, dead or something? It, the numbers are just astronomical there. It's ridiculous. Like, it's unimaginable. This time last year, there is no way we would have ever thought something like this would happen. All right? But that is our reality and that's what we're dealing with. So with that said, life path number one. Remember, your life path number is um, the great creator, all right? You're here to act upon your creative ideas and to step forward as a leader. You're the great leader. Your happiness lies in believing in yourself and everything that you're passionate about, not what other people think you should be doing. And once you identify where your core strengths lie, all right, you can dive in, hone in your innovative and unique ideas and not just follow, you know, the flock. Your success rides in taking risks and trusting your gut feelings, even if others find your vision weird and eccentric because you're, you begin stuff, you start stuff, you're the great creator, okay? Um, you're used to coming up with the idea, you're the idealist, all right? You come up with original ideas and you implement them and people might not understand it. They might feel like, you know, they might not understand your idea, but you do see the potential in every situation, all right? Um, you're not meant to... Um, color inside the lines you know that people expect you but you're supposed to come up as you know come out and be that natural leader and the inventor and the innovator and embrace the idea of becoming an entrepreneur you're you have an individualistic mindset all right um but you you want to and you want to achieve success on your own terms so once you've mastered the basics you get out there you take charge and your highest and best self is often revealed when you get into those creative mindsets, all right? Um, with that said, I don't want to, like, dwell too much in, um, you know, all the qualities of your life path. I cannot mention it a lot enough. You guys, you're the great creator, basically. One is, you know, beginning of everything. After zero is, like, one. Boom. That's the beginning. That's the seed planting phase of any, you know, project. Anything that becomes successful in life starts with, you know, one step. And you're number one, all right? So when you're in alignment, you are the innovative, energetic, original thinker, leader, determined, inspired, and courageous person. But when you're out of alignment, you feel self-important, domineering, intolerant, insecure, helpless. Some of you can come across as victimized, wishy-washy, and self-destructive. Those are things that you need to watch out for, all right? So like part number one, please, you guys should like, subscribe to this channel, continue to help help me build this channel um as we become a, a community or a family of people of like minds uh, i do appreciate all your likes subscribe and your share and i do love reading from you please leave me a feedback in the comment box below if you don't know what your life path number is or how to get it there'll be additional information in the description box below this video also if you're looking for a reading personal to you or your specific situation i'm open and available for personal readings i've been doing a lot of life purpose reading for people all right and that's helping you determine what your life purpose is meant to be this in this lifetime what are you meant to do 
right? Specifically, figure out, are you on the right path? Are you in alignment? Are you off base? Because a journey of a thousand mile, you know, can that can take us one day, or, you know, why would we want to do it in, in 10 years? Um, the children of Israelites, you know, got to the promised land, 40 years of roaming around in the wilderness when they could have just gone there in maybe a day or a week or a month or whatever. So knowing what your life purpose is and aligning yourself earlier on, um, it saves a lot of wasted time and misguided steps and misdirection. With that said, I have 15 tarot and oracle decks here and I'm going to be tapping into this th to provide you whatever energies that will be bringing forth for you this month um, to figure out what you'll be dealing with in um, the month of May. So guys, let's go with... Um... All right, so let's pull your first card right here. Okay. Holy Spirit, what is the message we have for life path number one? Please provide clear, concise messages. Only the messages for their highest good. All right. So you have the two of um, hearts, which is the two of cups in the regular tarot. And um, it talks about chance meetings and reconciliations, acquaintances renewed, lover reunited, friends become deep friends, deep friends become lovers, desire and passion, intense sexual intimacy, kisses, embraces and touches, great sense of urgency, much commitment. And two, it, it talks about yourself and other, all right? So, um, although you're number one, but you know, this is a two of, uh, two of cups, two of hearts, and it talks about partnership and cooperation in the negative side or trade. It talks about, um, vi you know, vibrations uh, like division. All right. Because if you, if you, if you are familiar with, you know, numbers, you know, number two can be a number of opposition. It can be a number of, um, extremes. All right. But I'm picking up the energy of reconciliation it looks like maybe there's been extremes now you know two two of cups in the regular tarot talks about making decision around love so it looks like you're going to be making a decision around love to reconcile with somebody that you fell out with or something that was out of balance um or something that was you know not serving you or you thought you could let go but it looks like it might be coming around tick tock let's keep going guys and see what this is all about um it looks like something, you know, there's some kind of decision that you're needing to make this month. Um, and for some of you, it doesn't have to be love. Like I always say, um, even when we pick the love card, it could represent your job. It could represent your career. Um, whatever it is, it's going to be, a, you know, another chance at something. All right. It could be another chance at your job. Some of you might have been let go and now you're going to be called back or whatever this is. I don't know. Um, now that the same businesses need to open, maybe you're going to be going back you know, to, to work. Maybe that's what it means. But you have two cards here. And we will be taking both of them. And the first one is a number 32. And the second one is a number 21. So let's start with the number 21. And this number 21 adds up to a 3. And basically what number 3 stands for is a number of expression, self-expression, creativity, communication. It's an artistic number. It's a number of sensitivity. Um, it's a social number guys and um, Three is a number of groups too. Okay, like I, I picked up energy of maybe some people going back to work or you know Being called to be a part of a group being called, you know, it's some kind of reconciliation, but um, Three is a number of imagination. It's also a number of fun. All right, but this card says the wise woman of wonderland It talks about integrity and compromise. So when I, when we picked up the you know two of hearts card and it talks about reconciliation so it could be reconciliation um that is going to be built out of compromise all right now you're seeing the bigger picture of something and you're like okay you know what this does not really have to all be a waste um we can compromise we can come together and give it another shot okay so the wise woman of wonderland talks about um bringing integrity to thought word and deed and it lets you know that as long as you're in the flow of honesty and being true to your word that you're under you know you're being protected and cared for 
And when this appears, it, it, what it's simply saying is that it's a time when honesty pays off, yielding greater dividends than you expected. And you'll be thankful that you remain faithful and loyal to your path. And it reminds you that com compromise isn't always an option. Stay true to yourself first and foremost. Although it may appear that you could lose something as a result, you can never lose what is truly yours. All right. So maybe some of you let go of a, a relationship or a situationship or a job or whatever, and now it's coming back because, you know, if you know when you let something go, if it's meant to come back around, it does come back around, all right? And I know letting go sometimes is very difficult, but, you know, the universe wants us to get to a point where we can release and not have unhealthy attachment to anything, all right? The next card um, that we picked up or that came through is the sun dancer and it talks about joyful activity celebration of life abundance and it's a number 32 like i said which equal to a five all right and number five is a number of change it's a number of constructive freedom number of versatility exploration adaptability um it's a number of pleasure adventure number of um you know, five is a, a number of human senses. We have five senses, right? So what this is saying is that, um, uh, it's asking you to celebrate, it, ce um, it celebrates you now and reminds you of the laws of success and praise. Anything you place your attention on will manifest an experience. So the laws are always perfect. Expect the best and praise in, in it and praise it in advance. All right. Expect the best in any situation. So if it's a something coming back around, um, start being in a gratitude mode, okay? Start being in a joyful mode. Start being in a celebratory mode, in a, in a, in a mindset of abundance. That's the way you're going to attract whatever this is. But it looks like there's something that is meant to come back, something that you let go willingly or something that, you know, you did maybe you did not really struggle with letting go because you you know like it was if it's meant to come back hey it, it's coming back and whatever this is is definitely coming back and um um what he's saying is that this un unleashes the magic of mystical magnetic energy and drawing circumstances to you to create the reality you envision all right give thanks in advance for the grace and goodwill of the divine be willing to dance the victory dance as if your greatest dreams are realized and watch how easily things begin to fall into place. Stay positive and leave the timing up to the divine. All things are possible now. Dance the joy of being and celebrate your life in abundance today. All right. Some of you need to be in that mindset of, you know, yes, what's meant to be will be what's going to come back will come back. Okay. Um, and there's a song that is coming to me that says, What's gonna be is gonna be. What goes up must come down. What's gonna be is gonna be. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. There's something coming back and there's nothing you can do about it because it's meant to um, materialize itself to you. It's meant to, you know, be concrete. And... Looks like it's something that you thought maybe had slipped through your fingers. Oh my goodness. It's something you, you probably let go. Maybe you didn't want to, but you did. Or maybe you were forced to let it go. Um, but whatever this is, because of the, the way that, you know, you let it go without, you know, actually dwelling on the loss. And maybe you believed that this thing will come back if it was meant. I think now it's time to come back. And he's saying surrendering to the journey and releasing control. So like I said, it was something that you released control over because you surrendered to whatever that experience was. You surrendered to whatever that journey was for you. And it looks like whatever this is, is coming back around into your um, energy field this month. And it's something that is worth celebrating over. Um, so uh, it just feel like law of attraction, all right? Okay, we have two cards that popped. So it looks like whatever this is, you had strength, you persevered, you you know, you let it go, you were good, um, and you showed a lot of strength and courage. And now, you know, because it says the angel of courage, and now you're being rewarded, you know. So it's like you're in that 
you're being asked to continue to display um, that strength and gratitude above everything and, and, you know, be in an expectant mode and your mindset has to be in a mindset of if it's meant to be, it's coming back to me and I'm happy and I'm celebratory and I'm joyful about whatever this is coming back. If it's love for you guys, it will come back and it will come back in the way that it will be better than the last time. Okay. This is the six of pentacles, which is the six of, um, which is, you know, like oh, money, it's earthy energy, it's groundedness, it's equality, it's about balance, all right? And number six is a number of love, romance, sex, loyalty, and relationship. What did I just say about if it was a relationship, it will come back? Or, you know, so this might be equal give and take, something that we come, and this time around, it will be better than the last time, all right? Six is the number of responsibility, is the number of care, of protection. Know that you are protected. Know that spirit has been guiding this and nurturing it. And now it's going to be materializing for you, okay? So the strength card is a number 11. And 11 equal a 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. And 2 is a number of balance, all right? It's a number of diplomacy. It's, a, it's the power behind the throne. It's a number of, you know, um, maybe extremes now coming together and balancing, okay? Um, cooperation. So it looks like you've been, in, you know, cooperating with, you know, um, the universe in co-creating whatever this is because of your mindset. You've been in a very positive mindset. And because you've been in a positive mindset, this thing is coming back to you full circle. Okay, whatever this is, guys, I'm happy for you. This is a really good reading and I, I wish you all the best. I'm going to pull one more card, which is the Archangel Michael uh, prayer card for you to close this reading out. It says you're on the right path. And you can say this prayer with me. Okay, it says, Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me one, giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with strong and confident. No, filling me with courage and confidence to make healthy life changes. Guys, this is beautiful. All right, so please like, share, subscribe, whatever you need to do. Exchange your energy with mine in case these readings are not resonating. Um, once you click on any of that button, you know, I do pick up, I do get like an email a lot and I do pick up your energy by, you know, clicking on those email a lot and going there to go, um, you know, go exchange my energy with yours and making sure that we're vibrating in the same energy and there's some kind of energy exchange going on so I can pick up your energies and be able to provide you better clarity with your readings. All right, guys, I do appreciate all your continued help and support. Like I said, please stay safe, protect your family, protect yourself, do whatever we need to do. This too shall pass when it comes to this deadly disease that is just taking people's lives and just making a mockery of of our society okay as if we're, we're not prepared or as if we're not technologically advanced to fight whatever um, but i think ultimately we're meant to learn a great lesson from all this which i feel like ultimately we will learn okay all right with that said thank you life partner number one um until next month um bye this is healing hands